My heartfelt welcome goes to Manager of Tower Academy, Raven Fodo Jean Spi Thomas, who is also Councillor for Education and Communication Media this year. We welcome Principal of Tower Academy, Raven Fodo Tommy, and the whose guidance and leadership our school will continue to thrive and excel. A warm welcome to teaching and non-teaching staff who always works hard and plays a vital role in shaping our minds and futures. To the world, our parents may be simply a person, but for us, they are the world. This sentence is enough to give recognition and respect to our parents. With immense pleasure, on behalf of my school, I heartily welcome our dear parents. We do cherish your partnership and collaboration in all endeavors of our life. Your, we pressure your love and concern towards our institution, which is our second home. Your esteemed presence amid. I would like to welcome all of the students who are an integral part of this institution. I request all for your kind cooperation throughout this program and making it a grand success. Thank you so much. Deepa Jyoti Namostute. As the light destroys darkness in the same way, knowledge destroys ignorance. Now we will have our traditional auspicious lamp lightning ceremony. For this, I would like to invite our chief guest, Dr. Srimati Pramila Jain, to inaugurate the event. And I also request all the dignitaries to join. speechless what to show by seeing this awesome atmosphere that they have celebrating the annual day function in a grand way and there are many calculated activities also hope all the children will be along with the parents enjoy a lot but due to my busy schedule I have supposed to go otherwise I can have some time spend some time and enjoy this evening so I request all the students and parents to enjoy this uh, this time and enjoy the performance of the children and encourage them. It's a great endeavor of the school that they have hard work the children and performing at this level. So I thank the management, school principal, coordinators, teachers to uh, to uh, ask me to come and participate uh, and. Uh, and my involvement in this program. I thank you very much. Thank you. Dear Reverend Father Tommy Thomas, the principal of Chavara Academy, Reverend Father Jake, the Vicar Provincial of Mary Mata Vice Province, Hyderabad, Father Shipu, the counselor, Father James Thomas, the manager, and also the education counselor of Mary Mother Hyderabad, dear parents, sisters, my dear students. I'm very happy to be here today to address this beautiful community. So when I see young students, 
parents sitting before me. I am delighted to be here to address this auspicious occasion. So my dear students, parents, and my dear friends, we are celebrating our school annual day. And after two days, or in two, three days, we are also celebrating Christmas, a feast of joy and happiness. So I'm delighted to be here to give a small message on this auspicious occasion. You might have seen, during the Christmas time, we decorate our houses, our schools, our institutions with the stars and lights. Story or an incident that I have come across. A few years back, in February, I visited a family and to my surprise, this family was decorated, the house was decorated with stars. And I asked them, it is not Christmas time, then why have you decorated your house with stars? The parents, the grandparents told me, Father, we have a baby in our house. We have a grandchild and today this baby is coming to us. We are happy and we want to welcome this baby with the stars and lights and we express our happiness through these decorations here. So my dear students, we are also here today because we also celebrate the coming of a baby, Jesus, in a few, years, a few days time, Christmas. Christmas is a joy of a feast, a day of joy and happiness for all of us. So if we limit our celebration only to decorations and everything, it doesn't have any meaning for our lives. For from each celebration, we should imbibe some values, some qualities for our lives. Otherwise, our celebrations become meaningless. And what is the message of today's celebration? Or what is the message of our Christmas celebration? That is very important for all of us. So my dear students, my dear friends, let us not forget the importance of kindness, compassion, and the joy of sharing or giving. Kindness, compassion, and the joy of sharing or giving. What does it mean for us? And that is what we celebrate in Christmas time, or during Christmas time. God so loved the world that He gave His only loving Son for our sake, for our salvation. God, the creator of the world, was compassionate, was kind enough that he gave his only begotten son, his son, for our salvation, for our well-being. That's the meaning of kindness and compassion. And Jesus, after coming to this world, he gave himself for us. He saved us. That is the joy of sharing. So we should be also ready to share something with others. Then only our joy will be doubled, our happiness will be doubled. And that is the message of today's celebration. For example, the students, in our class, if you don't have something, your friends don't have, don't have something else, then you share your everything with them, that your joy will be doubled. So my dear friends, that is the importance of kindness, compassion and joy of sharing. So my dear students, let us not forget also the others who are living with us. During this Christmas time, let us open our hearts and minds, have hearts and hands for the people who are not well, to the people who are not good enough to living among us. So let us not forget our power that we possess to give good impact in the life of others. That is our duty. So dear students, so we are busy with examinations, studies, everything, but we should not forget the importance of bonds and the friendship that we share with each other. In the school days, we should try to develop good friendship. And friendship are the treasures for you and for us during our life or throughout our lives. So my dear friends, this Christmas season also is a time for reflection. It's not only for celebration, joy, happiness, no. It is also time for the reflection. See, in a few days time, they're going to say goodbye to 2023 
and we are going to welcome the new year 2024. So we had a lot of resolutions, a lot of aims during this year 2023. We are also some failures, naturally that is part of our life. But we should acknowledge the hard work that we have overcome. Let us also reflect on the failures. Let us also be thankful for all the graces that we have received from God. So with all the new lessons, with all the new opportunities, let us welcome the new year 2024. The new year will be bright for all of us. So my dear friends, that is my wish for you today as we celebrate the school annual day. Let us not forget the importance of kindness, compassion and the joy of sharing something with others. So with this intention, I wish you all a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year and a good celebration of this school annual day. Thank you very much for sharing your valuable insights and promising vision for the future of our organization. Now, here we have for the Sebastian, former principal of Chavra Academy with us. I kindly request Father to come on to the dais. Thank you, Father. Now, I would like to call Amara of Class 10 to share with us her experience. A very good evening to one and all present here. I am Amara Asanfiza, a student of Class 10 of this school. As I stand before you all today, reflecting on the past three years of my journey in this school, I am filled with gratitude and nostalgia. Academics have been the foundation of my time here. Challenging curriculum coupled with the guidance of most qualified, loving, humble and helping teachers have not the values of teamwork, resilience and the joy of healthy competition. Inter-school competitions in which our school have taken active part have been thrilling opportunities for our students to showcase their talent on a broader stage. Co-curricular activities has been an integral part of my holistic development. Whether participating in debates, cultural events, or community service project, these activities has allowed me to explore my interest beyond the academic career. Behind the scenes, the school's management has played a pivotal role in creating an environment conducive to learning and growth of the children. I am immensely grateful to the most dedicated and qualified teachers who have not only expanded our knowledge but have also instilled a, love, a lifelong learning in the Chavarites. Discipline, a cornerstone of Chavar Academy's culture, has not only shaped our character but instilled a sense of responsibility among the Chavarites. Today, I stand here with mixed emotions as it is going to mark culmination of my journey in this school soon. The friendships made, the lessons learned and the memories created will forever hold a special place in my heart. I would like to express my gratitude to the supportive parents whose supportive and encouragement nature has definitely helped our school to reach height. As I am going to embark on the next chapter of my life soon, I carry with me the lessons learned and the memories created during my time in the school. The foundation laid in the school will forever, will forever serve as a solid base for my future endeavors. Thank you all. Francis Vicar Provincial. Now I request our coordinator ma'am to felicitate him. Honorable dignitaries on the dais esteemed teachers, the proud parents and my dear students. It's with great pleasure and gratitude that I stand before you today as a guest of honor at the annual day celebration of Chavra Academy. I would like to express my deep appreciation to the school administration and the honor for extending this kind of invitation to me. 
First and foremost, I would like to congratulate the entire Chavar Academy family on reaching this significant milestone. With the annual day, celebration is a momentous occasion for every educational institution as it provides an opportunity to reflect upon the achievements, growth and progress made throughout the academic year. Chavar Academy has always been synonymous with excellence in education. It's a place where knowledge is cherished, character is nurtured, and dreams are given wings to soar. Today, as we gather here, we celebrate the collective efforts of teachers, students, and parents who have contributed to the success and reputation of this esteemed institution. To the students, I want to say that you are the heart of and soul of Chavra Academy. It is through your hard work, it is through your dedication and thirst for learning that this school continues to shine bright. Each one of you possesses the immense potential and possesses the power to make a positive difference in the world. As you pursue your academic endeavors, Remember to embrace curiosity, think critically, and never be afraid to dream big. Your future is filled with infinite possibilities, and I encourage you to seize every opportunity that comes your way. To the teachers, I extend my heartfelt appreciation for your tireless efforts in shaping the minds and hearts of our young students. Your passion your knowledge and commitment to education are invaluable gifts that will leave the indelible mark on the just educators. You are not a just educators. You are mentors, role models, and guides. Your dedication to fostering an environment of growth, compassion, and intellectual curiosity is truly commendable. I would also like to acknowledge the parents present here today. Your unwavering support, your encouragement and involvement in your child's education are essential ingredients for their success. Your belief in their abilities and your commitment to their overall development have laid a strong foundation for their future endeavors. Your presence here today is a testament to your commitment to their growth and I applaud you for it. As we celebrate the annual day, let us not forget the values the Chavar Academy High School uploads. It is a inclusivity are cherished and celebrated here. It is a place where diversity and embrace and each individual is valued for their unique talents and perspectives. Let us continue to foster an environment that encourages empathy, understanding and kindness towards one another. I want to express my sincere gratitude for the opportunity to address this gathering today. Chavar Academy is a beacon of hope and inspiration, and I am honored to be part of this joyous celebration. To the students, I wish you continued success in your academic pursuits and all your future endeavors. To the teachers and parents, I extend my deepest appreciation for your dedication and support. Together, let us try to create a world where education is accessible to all and where every student can realize their full potential. Thank you and may this annual day celebration be a rem reminder of the incredible journey of learning and growth that lies ahead. Thank you, thank you very much. Respected Provincial Father Pais, the manager of all the CMI education institutions in Telangana, and the Vika Provincial Father Jake, and the Provincial Councillors and Father Shibu, and uh, Father Jins, the administrator of this institution, and the beloved principal Father Tommy, and my dear teachers and beloved parents and loving students.
My memory is going back to 2008. It was a simple beginning. We started the Chavara Academy as a primary school in a rented building opposite to our highway. In 2009, that primary section is shifted to the main building A block. Then in 2010, the Chavara Academy had 176 students only. From that level, we tried our level best to affiliate this school to CBSC and uh, by the grace of God, the first attempt, even though there was less students in our school, we got affiliation in the year 2012. It was a two years of continuous hard work to develop it to the level of getting affiliation as a CBC school. Now the campus is grown so much. Now there is no greenery. The ground is vast and the total campus is filled with buildings, classrooms and all the infrastructure. I appreciate the parents. Your choice is best choice to send your children to this school to get the quality education as well as the good quality in their discipline. Still, we have to walk miles and miles to get up to the highest quality of education we are blessed with the Telangana as our independent state and also Adilabad became one of the best growing district in Telangana. So as a part of Telangana, the Adilabad is growing so fast. The growth of the country, the development comes only through the education. So, I suggest parents, your choice to send your child to a school is very important and crucial decision from your part. The education is the most important weapon. We can use it everywhere, anytime. Only through education, the development is possible. Now we know the agriculture is really disappointing. As a new state, we have a lot of opportunities in our state. So education is the only answer to that opportunities. On this auspicious occasion of the annual day celebration of Chavara Academy. It is a great event after five years. We had a celebration of decennial jubilee in the year 2018. After that, first time we are conducting this annual day celebration. Annual day celebration is always giving us an evaluation of the performance of the academics as well as co-curricular activities all throughout the year taking place in the school campus. The different talents will be exhibited on the stage. The quality of their education, the quality of their standard is to be analyzed by the performance so that this is the day of enjoying, examining, encouraging our students for their performance. I think you might have bored with the speeches. 
but after few minutes you are going to see different uh, curricular activities the performance of our students don't keep your hands together and uh, relax you have to clap and encourage our students for their performance each clap is a step to next level of growth the encouragement the encouragement the encouragement and the encouragement is the big support you can render to students when they do something creatively and for the students i would like to say hard work hard work hard work without hard work there is nothing to do nothing will be perfect so this is the day the parents came here invited guests are here to appreciate the management of st chavara kudiya st chavara academy and the performance of the students and the back support of the teachers their hard work is shown through your children so this is a time to join hands together to work to encourage and experience the beauty of this campus the beauty of this academy the beauty of this cbsc school in chavara academy i am so happy and grateful to the management they have invited me to come over here to see the new developments and the caliber of our students so thank you father principal for tommy and father jeans for your invitation and uh, this opportunity to share with you few minutes thank you i remain thank you very much success and unsuccessful people do not vary greatly in their abilities they vary in their desires to reach their potential now this is a time to acknowledge the talent of our hard working students who have strived for progress and worth going now i request our provincial reverend father paya cmi to hand over the awards to the winners and the winners are anv pramod who secured 98 percentage class 2 Vardhi Sahasra who secured 99 percentage Dear audience please clap and encourage the students from class 3 Lagishetty talent who secured 94 percentage from class 4 mamila chaturved who has secured 97 percentage from class 5 guntuku manideep who has secured 100 percent from class 6 polusani manoj who has secured 97 percentage from class 7 priti priya who has secured 96 percentage from class 8 pendor last year who has secured 93 percentage dear audience please keep clapping from class 9 g gnanashasana who has secured 98 percentage from class 10 the shanmuga shri who has secured 95 percentage securing 97%.
95 percentage in the board exams. Now I call upon Reverend Father Sebastian to hand over the award to the winner. For the first time, and as there is much time left out as per our schedule, I just thought I will give one message to the parent. The, to the parent community, what I have to tell is, only one message I am giving now, that you must teach responsibility to the students. To your child, if he, if he or she goes, grows up with responsibility, the advantage is for you and for the society. So what I am saying is only this much, you must teach responsibility. What I am, I will give an example. Suppose a child comes running fast, hits the parent's leg and falls down. What will happen? A child comes fast, hits the leg of the parent, father and falls down. What will happen? Normally the child will cry. Is it not? Yes or no? They will cry. Then what will the mother do? He will ask, this uh, father's leg only made the problem. Therefore, I will give a beating to the father's leg. And we will consult the child. What is that you do? Most of us are doing. In my, in my Kerala, it is they are doing like that. I thought in Telangana also we are doing like that. Is it not? Then what the message you send to the child? That you, are, you fell down, the responsibility is father's leg. Not, it is not your responsibility. Suppose the student fails in the examination. What will you say? Yes. What will you say? Fails in the examination. What will you say? The fault is either with the school or with the teacher. That means you are not bringing your child with responsibility. You must bring your child with responsibility. Suppose a child goes for a competition. Last year we went for a competition. And we say the child and the teachers together say what they say. The judgment was not, wrong, not right. The judgment is not right. And so who is the response? The child is said, the child is taught to transfer the responsibility to somebody else. Is it not? So that should not be done. Our responsibility. The responsibility of every parent is to bring up the child with responsibility. Teach him responsibility for everything. Responsibility for his mistake, responsibility for his success, and you must be able to accept failure and success equally. Because both of them are uh, two sides of the same coin and everybody has to face it. Therefore, what I have, my message to the parents is, you must teach, bring up the child with responsibility. Responsibility for his, for his mistakes, responsibility for his success, and responsibility for all his actions. If you bring up the child like that, definitely he or she is going to be an asset for your home, asset for the school, and definitely will be doing good in the society. So, all the parent community is here, therefore I am just giving you a message, my message which I you which I like to give to the parents, let us together, because uh, it is not the responsibility of the school to bring the child up. I, I am not uh, um, uh, transferring my responsibility to the parents, but what I am saying is, it is our responsibility, the parents' cooperation and support in correcting the students and bringing, uh, bringing them up responsibly, responsibly, with responsibility, accepting the success, accepting the failure is very important. So let us together, parents, teachers, management, let us all together, work together to bring our child response with responsibility. This is my message for you and I do appreciate your support, cooperation and everything. We are, I have been here for one year. And I am getting good support from the management, from uh, parents, teachers, and all the student community. I am grateful to you. Let our hard work, let our work together. As we work together as a team, definitely our academy will go into much higher heights. 
as for the former principal said you must clap the hands for the for the students he said what i have to tell you is if you clap your hands what, my, what the doctors and the medical department says all the nerves in the hand will get active and it is good for your health it is said therefore please try to clap for the students because it is not only encouraging the students it is good for your health therefore please clap the hands after the program it as father said it is a encouragement for the school and for the students and another thing is it is a healthy habit which will increase your health so with this small message let us together bring our children with responsibility accepting the failures and success the reasons everything like that so if you bring him bring them like that definitely he or she will be an asset for your home so let us together work for the betterment of our students let our celebrations let our uh, all these preparations everything help us together to be, become a more better team for uh, for the better future of our students and rest of our care so may god bless all of you thank you i'm clear about the roles and responsibilities now i would like to call miss jaimala pawar staff secretary of chavra academy to deliver vote of thanks good evening renowned guests honorable manager and principal respected teachers dear parents and students today i feel honored and privileged to get an opportunity to propose the vote of thanks on this special occasion first and foremost on behalf of the entire school and each one of you who are present here i express my humble gratitude to the great almighty for giving us a chance to celebrate this day i would like to express our deepest appreciation and gratitude to our esteemed provincial superior father pius cmi father jake francis cmi vicar provincial father shibu cmi counselor for finance and father sebastian cmi who was former principal of chavra academy they are the men of distinct vision and fountain head of illuminating ideas and i thank them for their gracious presence on this occasion thank you fathers a sincere thanks to the chief guest shrimati dr pramila jain her presence really undoubtedly added a significant aura and prestige to this event a sincere gratitude to our manager reverend father jitswe thomas who has been working hard to ensure that each and every student get care and attention thank you for navigating us to the path of glorious success thank you father now i wish to extend my sincere thanks to our principal reverend father tommy thomas for fostering an environment that encourages and empowers our students and our school to reach the zenith of glory thank you father a heartfelt thanks to all the honorable sisters and fathers who took time from their busy schedule to be part of our event now i want to recognize and thank my friends colleagues for the unwavering commitment and support your expertise and knowledge with dedication have played a pivotal role in shaping all of us thank you dear colleagues furthermore i offer my heartfelt thanks to our honorable parents for their encouragement and cooperation your devoted support and belief in our abilities have been always a pillar of strength throughout the journey thank you dear parents next in the last a most prized position the stars of the day who are going to display their exceptional talents perseverance and dedication to make this event successful once again i extend my heartfelt thanks to all who are going to contribute to the success of this event and for being a part of this occasion thank you to everyone